We're celebrating an English saint today, St. Thomas Becket. Hello, this is Father Kabicki of the Apostleship of Prayer with some thoughts about and words from this bishop and martyr. He was a deacon and the Chancellor of England and also a good friend of King Henry II who thought he would be able to use this friendship to his advantage. The king nominated Thomas to be the Archbishop of Canterbury, but he soon found out that his friend was a man of integrity who served God first. At one point, in a fit of rage over the archbishop's opposition to his plans, he shouted, Who will rid me of this turbulent priest? Four of his knights took these words literally and killed the archbishop in his own cathedral. Let's pray today that our bishops may have the integrity and courage of St. Thomas. In the following excerpt from a letter that he wrote before he died on this day in the year 1170, I'm reminded of what St. Paul wrote in Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Here's what St. Thomas Becket wrote. Everyone knows that the keys of the kingdom of heaven were given to Peter. Upon his faith and teaching, the whole fabric of the church will continue to be built until we all reach full maturity in Christ and attain to unity in faith and knowledge of the Son of God. Remember then how our fathers worked out their salvation. Remember the sufferings through which the church has grown and the storms the ship of Peter has weathered because it has Christ on board. Remember how the crown was attained by those whose sufferings gave new radiance to their faith. The whole company of saints bears witness to the unfailing truth that without real effort, No one wins the crown.